Hello, this is SJ Thompson Life coming back at you with another video. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Please and thank you. Tia Mori. That's who I want to talk about. Tia Mori. Um, does she have regrets of divorcing her husband, Corey Hardick? I think it was sometime last year. Um, she decided to divorce her husband, Corey Hardick. And she said that she graduated. She graduated from him. That's what I don't understand. How do you graduate from somebody? Make it make sense. I've never heard anybody describe, say that, to describe getting a divorce. I've never heard someone say they were graduating. I've heard people say we grew apart, but I've never heard people, a person say I've graduated from this person. And that's what she, she said. Like it's, she compared it to going to college. She compared marriage to college, which is, it's really, it's no comparison. You know, marriage is a spiritual union. But she said she graduated, and I don't understand what she meant by that. What do you mean you graduated? Your class? I don't I don't understand what she meant by that. But she said she graduated. But that's what she said. She graduated from the marriage. And I, I think that Tia is going through a midlife crisis. I honestly think that she's going through a midlife crisis. A lot of uh, people have been sounding off about this on YouTube. Um, saying that she may allegedly, I'm going to say allegedly because I don't know for sure because I don't know her personally, but they say she could be having some regrets. Um, and here lately, I know she's been doing a lot of dance videos on TikTok. She's been um, doing a lot of dancing and stuff like that on TikTok. She's been coming on TikTok dancing and stuff like that. Um, doing dances and things like that on TikTok. And um, I've been a little concerned because she's been um, doing some drinking. You know, I, I, I've seen one picture of her uh, where she was knocking back a few. Uh, I see there was a picture of her. She was sitting at a bar or a table or something like that. And she was knocking back some wine. She was knocking them back. So that's what my concern. I said, boy, she's sure for somebody to be happy. She's sure is drinking a lot. I said, she sure is drinking a lot. It's like she... I'm like, what's up with this party girl image that she's trying to put out here? It's like, seems like she wants to put out this party girl image. That she wants to portray the image to the world that uh, she's this happily single woman. Um, but she's been drinking a lot. That's what my concern is. I said, why is she doing all this drinking? If she's supposed to be so happy, why is she doing all this drinking? And um, she's talking about, um, she did an interview, I guess, and was saying something about Talking about dating, and she said she didn't. It's, dating is not what she thought it would be, and I honestly don't think what she thought was like. What did she think was going to be out there? You're in your forties. You're a divorcee of two, and you got two children. On top of that, you're a single mother. You're black. I mean, she's biracial, but you know how that goes. You black. Single mother, you know how it is with the stigma, single mother stigma in us black women. And you in your 40s and you're a divorcee. I mean, she's famous and everything, but, but, you know, um, and these men, you know, it gets harder as us women get older. It gets a little bit more difficult for us to, um, in the dating. I'm going to do a video dating over 50. As we get older, it, it, it gets harder as far as dating and stuff like that. 
because a lot of men, um, middle-aged men, 50s, 40s, 50s, you know, they're checking for the younger women. They're checking for the younger women. They're not really checking for women, you know, their age, you know. And some younger men do like older women, but a lot of them have ulterior motives. So I honestly don't think what she thought was going to be out there. She said she's a little disappointed with the dating. Um, but I don't I don't know what she thought was going to be out there. I mean, she did marry young. And I, I think that Tia is going through a midlife crisis. I honestly think that she's going through a midlife crisis. You know, um, I think she's going through some type of midlife crisis. And and I think that she missed being single. Maybe she has some single friends and they've been her single friends has been in her ear. And, you know, maybe she, you know, I she was I thought she was she seemed to be happy uh as a wife and mother. She was doing this cooking thing. You see the difference between her? Look at the difference between her here. And her here. You see the difference? And her here. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with coming on. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with doing dances on TikTok and all that. Don't please don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with that. But yeah, look I mean, just look at the difference. That, that, that. That's not too bad. That and this. You see the difference? You see the difference? There's her there with the husband and the babies. There's her there. Now she's... That's her now. You see the difference? She was she was seemed like she was she seemed like she was happy. I mean, you know, like she was a happy wife and mother. It's just happened to be a wife and mother. And now she wants to live this party girl. It's like she's trying to have this party girl, single party girl image, party girl image now. Only now it's like she's in her 40s, she's a divorcee, not saying that's old. She's got two kids, you know. Some men may look at that as a lot of baggage. Some men may look at that as baggage. You're a divorcee with two kids. You know, black women, we get stigmatized being single mothers. It doesn't matter what the circumstances is. You know, and Corey, um, I'm sorry, but I hadn't heard anything about him committing adultery. He's came on, um, he's came on record saying that he didn't commit adultery. I haven't been hearing anything negative about him. He's kind of been keeping a low profile since this divorce. She's been way more public than he has. He's been kind of keeping a low profile. I heard that allegedly he's dating someone else. I don't know for that for sure. Um, he's been kind of keeping a low profile. I think he's a little bit more private than she is. And um I I don't see I don't see where he's a bad man. I mean, Corey, I really loved him for her. He really seemed like I did another video talking about, um, and I'm going to link it up to this video. But he seemed like he was a really nice guy. They seemed to be, they seemed to have, I mean, they had a beautiful family. I hate to see black families break up. They were so cute together. They had beautiful children. They had beautiful children. Um, she had, when they were married, she had nothing but good things to say about him. And I get it that people have problems. I don't know if it was the money situation. But she made more money than him. And, you know, but he was on the come up towards the end of 
the marriage, you know, because they're both actors, but she's more successful than he is. Um, I honestly don't know, you know, I mean, he's a good man. And, and now it seems like, you know, she's disappointed in the dating situation. And, and, and my thought is this, this is my thought. If you get a divorce, um, she didn't want to be, obviously didn't want to be married no more. And, you know, from a scriptural standpoint, she, if, if he didn't commit adultery, you know, you, she really didn't have scriptural, scriptural grounds to divorce him. That's from a spiritual perspective, from a spiritual perspective, or a biblical perspective. Um, I don't know whether, um, I, I think she does believe she's spiritual. Um, but from a biblical perspective and a spiritual perspective, she didn't have biblical grounds to divorce him. If he didn't commit adultery, then she didn't have biblical grounds to divorce him. So if she really didn't want to be married anymore. She divorced him and she really didn't want to be married anymore. And if she just wanted to be single, but she didn't want to be in a relationship or a marriage then that's one thing, but then if you get a divorce, um, I mean, it, 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 yeah, that's one thing. That's one thing if you don't, if you get a divorce and you don't want to be in a relationship or a marriage. That's one thing. But then if you get out of that marriage and you're wanting to, I don't know if she was, if she's wanting to remarry or if she's wanting to, get into another, if she just want to get into another relationship or she wants to remarry, I don't know. If she's looking to get remarried or she's looking to have a relationship, that could be an issue. That's going to be very disappointing to her because my thought is if you wanted to be married in a relationship or married, then maybe you should have tried to work things out with your husband, the father of your two children, because those children are going to be better off with their father in the home. We all know that. We all know that's a statistical fact. And my thought is if you divorce him and what you're wanting to still having that desire to want to marry again or have a relationship, then it's, it's going to be a lot more difficult. It's going to be more complicated because now you're a divorcee. Now you have two kids. So even if she you do get into she do get into a relationship with another man, she gotta worry about he gonna like the kids, if the children is gonna like him, if he gonna treat her kids right. Um he he you don't know if he's gonna be worried about the ex-husband and how much she's gonna be dealing with him and because she's gonna have to still deal with him in regards to the children. And, you know, you don't know if he's going to be concerned about that. You know, the co-parenting situation, trying to co-parent around your relationship. You don't know if he's going to like your kids. Now, you got to think about all that. You don't know how he's going to treat your kids, He's how he's going to be around your kids. You know, those are all everything that you have to think about when you're a single mom and you're dating or you're considering a relationship with someone. Some women just you know, say, I'm just going to just focus on my kids and not date at all. Um, I, I stopped dating at some point when um, I was raising my kids. My son, youngest son was around um, five, somewhere in there. I stopped dating altogether. You know, I stopped dating altogether. So and I, and I got into the organization at that point. So yeah, I just a lot of mothers come to that decision because it's it's comp it's too complicated. And it's too complicated. And I was in a relationship when I was when I when it was just me and my oldest son. When it was just me and my oldest son, I was in a relationship and I remember it being very complicated. Even at that time it was very, very complicated. Um, because my ex, you know, had an issue with me dealing with because I had to, you know, I was attempting to co-parent, but his father wasn't really in his life like that. And so I just remember that whole situation being complicated. It's, it's, it's a lot more to it, you know, 
to the story. But I just remember that situation being complicated. You know, my ex was thinking I still had feelings for um, my son's father. He said he thinking that he still had feelings for me. So there was some insecurity there on that part. And I remember being very complicated. Now, he got along good with my son. I had no issues with him around my son. And um, he was actually really good around my son and everything like that. So there was no issue there at, as far as that part, but as far as um, the father and everything like that. And so those are all the things that you have to think about uh, when you're a single mother and you're dating other men and you're bringing, trying to bring other men and, and you don't know, even if you, you know, you got to not bring them around your children until you know for sure it's going to be serious. And then when you do decide to introduce them to your children, you got to worry about it. If this man's going to like your kids, if your kids are going to like him and you know, it's the situation is complicated. It's these, these are all these things. Are, she just complicated her life. But if, if you, if, if, if she divorced him with wanting, with the goal of wanting to get into another relationship, then why not just try to work it out with your husband? You know, I mean, cause I don't know about you guys. Let me know in the comment section, but Corey seems like a really, he seems like a, a good brother. He seemed like a good brother. I, I have never heard anything bad about him. Never heard anything negative about him. Um, she didn't say anything about him cheating. He came on record saying that, confirming that he, that he didn't cheat. And he's keeping a low profile. He's not trashing her in the media. Um, he, he really appeared to be a good guy in the marriage. I love those. I love those two together. I honestly do not see, um, what the problem was. I'm, I'm just baffled as to why she divorced him. I said it in that other video. I don't understand why she divorced him. I really don't. The only thing that I can come up with is that maybe she's going through some type of midlife crisis. She got tired of being married and felt tied down and whatever. But she said she graduated. How the heck did you graduate from your husband? I ain't never heard nobody use that term in regards to divorce. And, and, and why, how, how you, how you going to just want to be a single mother? I mean, I just, I don't understand it. I, I don't get it. Because I know there, there's a lot of women now that are starting to embrace singleness. I don't know. She seems to be on social media a lot. So she probably does spend a lot of time on TikTok. Because she's on TikTok. And she probably spends a lot of time on YouTube. I think she's got a YouTube channel too. I think she does. So I think it'd be safe to say she spends a lot of time on social media. So she could be, she could be, you never know what she's looking at. She could be looking at these videos. There's a lot of content creators on here that are single and they're starting their TikTokers. I see it a lot because I've, I've seen quite a few of them myself and I've done some videos talking about how women are starting to embrace singleness and, and, um, there, and there are, there are a lot of women that are starting to embrace singleness of all ages, are embracing singleness of all ages, not expressing the desire to marry of all ages. So, you know, maybe she was watching those, that content, you know, and, and it, you know, she's like, Hey, I want to be part of that. I don't know. I don't know. There are a lot of women that are starting to embrace singleness. So I don't know. Maybe she, you know, wanted to live that single life. But now she's got two kids. She got two kids now. That's the problem. She got two children. got two kids. She's got two kids now. So yeah, she's got two children. That's the picture I was looking for. She's got two children. 
She seems to be a loving mother. Her kids are so cute. Little girl is so cute. I think the little girl's name is Cairo. Little boy's name is Cree. She's got the cutest kids. She seems to love being a mother, and she seems to be crazy about those kids. So her, her life is not the same as it was when, before she met her husband, and she didn't have any children. Her life is not the same. Her life is different now. She's older. She's, she's a mom. You know? Her life is, is, is different now. I, I just make it make sense. So she said she disappointed in the in the dating, you know, in the dating, the dating. She did say that, and uh, a lot of people are starting to think. I seen a picture of her, and she didn't look happy. I didn't find that picture on here, but I seen a picture of her, and she did not look happy at all. She didn't look happy at all, you know. She's been doing a lot of drinking, so it kind of makes you wonder, you know, is she really happy being single? Is she having regrets? That's a good question. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Do you think Tia Mori is having regrets? Do you think she's having regrets about divorcing her husband? Because he seems like, Corey to me seems like he's a good brother. He's a nice looking man. He's, you know, he's an actor, you know. He seems to be intelligent. Um, he's a good father. He checks off all the boxes, man. So what? He's not a, a don't have millions and millions of dollars. So what? So what? He ch he's still successful in my book. He checks off all the boxes. He he literally checks off all the boxes. He's a good. He was a good husband. He was a good father. Um. I don't honestly don't see anything. I never, I never hear nothing negative about him. I mean, I just why throw away a good man? And this is the father of your children. What to be a single mother? She she's got to be insane. The single motherhood ain't what it's cracked up to be. She gonna find that out. Single motherhood ain't what it's cracked up to be. Mm hmm I I don't I honestly don't know why she divorced this man. I really don't. And I, I, I pray that these two they can get back together. I pray that they can get back together. Maybe she'll come to her senses. Maybe he'll forgive her and they'll get back together. And the children can have the, both their parents in the home again. Because this divorce is devastating on children. Divorce is hard on children. Divorce is really hard on kids. I really hope that they can work it out for the children's sake. Maybe give it another try. And my question is, does she really communicate? You have to communicate in a marriage. I've never been married, but I know enough to know that... They say cute communication is very important. I mean, did she communicate with him? I mean, did she talk to him? About what I don't know. Did they do marital counseling? Did they talk to the minister? I don't know if they're I don't I just don't know, you know? Did she exhaust everything before she came to that decision? Did she did she even try to work on her marriage? That's just like, what's his name? Divorced, uh, uh, what's his name? He divorced, um, that rapper. Divorced the Asian lady. Jenny Mai, Jenny Mai and, um, uh, what's his name? I did a video on it and now I can't remember the man's name. <laughs> I can't remember the man's name, and I did the video on it. I did a video talking about it. That rapper, because I'm not fans. I'm not fans of neither one of them. He he divorced Jenny Mai after two years of marriage. And my thought is, did you even did you even try to work on the marriage? Did you did you even try? Did you like go to counseling? Did you pray about it? Did you even try to work on the marriage? 
She's got a lot more time invested in him. She got two kids. I mean, did she even try? Did she even try to um, work it out? I think she wanted that single life. I think that the single life was looking pretty good to her. Because a lot of times people get married. Yeah, sometimes they be wishing they were single again. But, you know, and yes, um, singleness can be a, being single can be a blessing. Yeah, it can be. But it, it can also be complicated if you was married for a, a, a long time. And you was raised, you, you had a, you got kids. You know? It, it, it it's it's not easy to make that transition into singleness. You know, when you have young children that still need both of their parents and you were married for quite a few years, it could be very difficult making that transition into to singleness and and, and to be completely fulfilled um uh, and secure in your singleness. So let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Um, do you think Tia Mori has regrets about divorcing Corey Hardick? Do you think she made a big mistake divorcing him? I'm beginning to think that she did make a mistake. I'm beginning to think she did. And I hope I I really hope that they can get back together because I love them two together. I, I think they were they're beautiful together. They had a beautiful family. Um, I, I really hope that they can work it out. I honestly hope that they can work things out. But for the children's sake, you know. For their sake too, but for the children's sake. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, so let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Is she, do you think she made a huge mistake? Leaving Corey. I um, think she did. I honestly think she did. Okay, let me know what your thoughts are. Go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, and share. And until the next video, be blessed.